Welcome back to the channel guys, Slob Squad here. Today we have ourselves my 2016 Polaris Axis 800 and uh, we have a track problem. I don't know where the rip is, I think it's closer up there. I'll show you guys later but the track is ripped. It like ripped off somewhere out here, like a chunk ripped out and it uh, looks like structural damage. We got missing lugs right there. Um, there's like cracks everywhere in this track, like around every single, it's hard to see, but around every single paddle or whatever, it's ripped. So we're going to pull this track off and I'll show you guys how to do it yourselves. So we started off by taking off this cover. We took off this cover. Took off the clips here. There's one underneath this behind there. Took this clip off. And that's so we can move this out of the way. We're gonna need to get to the belt down there. And on this side, we're gonna need to get to the let's see here. We're gonna need to get to, to the drive shaft down there. So we're gonna have to take off the primary or the secondary clutch take your tool that you got from right here put it right in there next you want to lock up your brakes so the track doesn't move and then break through this break free this nut or this bolt it's a uh, 15 millimeters and then you'll be able to pull the secondary clutch out after you've already moved, removed the belt. Now we're going to get to this side and we're going to unscrew both of these uh, these these bolts for the quick drive belt. And basically if you have a chain case, basically you got to get those off so you can reach the drive shaft down there. Now that those bolts are off, all you got to do is just pull this Pull this uh, the whole thing right off. So I don't know that I could do this with one hand, but just you're gonna want to kind of squeeze the belt in a little bit on both sides and just kind of pop it off together. So before we take the drive shaft off, we already took in everything off that needs to be taken off. Now there's some uh, uh, hex bolts, some Allen heads, or whatever you want to call them on uh, the clutch side that we have to remove and that'll free up the drive shaft but before we do that we need to either you lift the back up in the air and the suspension will get loo or looser and then you have to unscrew the four the four bolts that hold the whole track everything together not the track but the rails and all that or i watched next level riding clinic and they had a really good tip and that's what I'm going to do because I don't have anything here to lift the tail up and this is actually very helpful. You can do this by yourself. You basically get a ratchet strap, hook it up onto the, the bar right here, right there and you cross it over this upper bar down to this one and you don't have to put a whole bunch of pressure on it. You just basically tighten it down to get the suspension. To get the suspension to drop a little to free up the track and that way you can unscrew these and be able to pull the whole thing out together instead of lifting everything up so i'm going to tighten that up we're going to get the other side and unscrew the drive shaft i'm going to break them free with this and then i'm going to use power drill to get them out the rest of the way so it's faster all right, so we got most of the bolts out and the rest of them are free, but the drive shaft moves down a little bit. So we're going to have to take off these bolts first. We've got the straps on. I've already loosened up all of them and these ones I've already taken out. It helps a lot to have uh, like an impact gun or a drill or something. You have to break it loose on each side first and then use the impact or the drill to pull it out the rest of the way. If you do one at a time, then you're gonna have a trouble trying to do it because if you do it this on this side and not the other side the other side's gonna spin so you have to have something on both sides and you have to do it kind of evenly if you take one out 
and you try to take the other one out it's just going to spin and then this is already going to fall down and you're going to have to pick it back up realign it put the bolt back in it's going to be a pain so break them loose first on both sides this side as well and then use the impact so we're we did that side now we're going to do this side Did. All right, so we got all the bolts off. I'm gonna pop this cover out. Right, we got the sled on its side. As you can see, it's really loose. Now we should just be able to pull the whole thing right out. So I'm gonna pull it out real quick. Well, there she is. Got a light going on this. You can kind of inspect the rollers and everything while you're at it. But yeah, she's all out. The other wheel fell out down there. So you kind of have to keep track. Make sure you're not losing anything like this guy right here supposed to be at right there now we can release pressure on this if we want to if we're gonna take the rails off or anything like that it's a good time to inspect everything like this guy's pretty loose bearings probably shot this roller is bent bearing might be shot so i might just end up just buying a whole new set of rollers for this thing honestly all right so now try and take out the drive shaft the reason why i'm taking it out is to replace these guys because they are pretty messed up you can see both sides are like that but we're gonna let's see here give it a good shake and it should come out we're gonna bunch this track up up here so, oh i guess the track was holding it <laughs> there it is perfection so this is why we are replacing the track you can see that it's pretty bad let's get it out a little bit more otherwise look at that bad and uh, for some reason this track like everywhere there's these cracks like right there right there just everywhere right there there's a crack right here there's a crack almost every single paddle has cracks there so skipping a bit ahead we changed out the drivers on this brand new drivers um, this is something you can possibly do by yourself at home with a press and I used the press to pull them out I could not get them back in to get the, the new ones back in and I had mash uh, Motorsports push those back in press them back in So that's that as well I bought new rails New used rails the ones should look nicer. These ones work fine, but They're like they have a bracket welded in there because they cracked on both sides at one point and these will look much better I'm also going to be powder coating some stuff. We've got the new track right here. Um, so we're going to get that installed here shortly. But for now, we bought new bearings for the rollers because the bearings on the rollers were all rusty and bad. So we got new bearings. If you want to know what, which, what they are, that's the part number for these ones, these bearings, or these rollers. And then... 
this is the part number for these guys right here. So we're gonna push those in there and uh, then we're gonna install the drive shaft with the track and we're gonna replace the rails as well. Before we put the bearings in, why don't you guys take a look at this little axle that goes back here for these, uh, for the rollers, these guys. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty corroded and rusty and stuff. So we're gonna get some uh, sandpaper here. I think this is like 200 grit or 150. I'm gonna try to sand it off. Then take some 600 and kind of smoothen it out. Get some uh, grease going in there. And get it nice and looped up. All right, this axle is all cleaned up. Shiny, smooth, bearings are reinstalled. Pretty simple. It's been good now. Now, time for the drive shaft. You gotta put the track on. Just like that. Then, drive shaft. Alright, that's it all the way. You can see here, it's all the way in. Now we're going to align the track onto the driver. I'm set you guys down real quick. It's a good idea to go in and put the bolts onto the drive shaft now, but the sled is on its side. So I'm going to put the track on here. Track should hold it. Now it should be good. Let's go to the other side and put those bolts in there. One thing to make sure is when you're putting the track on that the arrows are pointing in the right direction. It's hard to see there, but let's go right here. There's the arrows on the track. Make sure they're not pointing backwards. All right, don't make the mistake I did. Don't forget to put this guy on, the drive shaft. I'm gonna take that off, put that drive shaft up here. All right, we went on the other side, put the bracket and bolts in. There's six total bolts, three that screw directly into this bracket that's right behind the bearing on the drive shaft. And then there's a big circle bracket that's on the outside. There's only one way to put it in, so you can't really get it wrong. Uh, just look at the markings on it, or like a little groove on it. I'll show you guys when I flip the sled around. Now, now that this is done, we're gonna take the rails off of this and install our new rails. I'm gonna go to the other side, break that loose. Well, this is the only T50 that I have. And that sucks. Just snapped right off. <sighs> All right. 
Got to get another one. All right, fast forward a little bit. We got this guy off. Uh, we just used the 45, T45, and did it carefully, and didn't strip it. Got the new rails put on. I'm just gonna have to fasten everything up, tighten it all down, and should be good to go. We'll do that to everything. Just tighten it all up. Be ready. Everything is bolted up as, as it needs to. I got the ice scratcher put on. Well, this side I didn't because I have to drill it out. My drill just died. But the other side is put on. We're going to get some grease on the, this guy right here. On this axle. And then we're going to put it on. We compressed the suspension with our straps. Everything is ready to go. So. So we actually took off the straps because you don't need to put, keep the straps on. I'm going to put some Loctite on these bolts. Just step in here. And the most important one is to get this front one aligned first. Just pulling the track out a little bit, putting a skateboard under like that helps. So, got the first bolt in. I'm gonna tighten it down with the drill. Before I do that, I probably. Try to get this one. Just get this guy aligned too. All right, with some messing around. Got that bolt in, got that guy in. So it's hard to get that aligned. So I put a strap onto this hook right there. It's hard to see. Pull it onto here. Basically I'm getting it straight right there. And then I'm gonna pull this bar down and then I'll put the bolt in. There we go. Got it. Okay, in there.
boom we got her all ready to go just gonna have to I, I left this loose I'm gonna adjust the track make sure it's not too tight not too loose but overall ready to go not too bad same way you put it on got her in I struggled for a little while for no reason basically put the side in first the side in first barely on put the bolt in so it doesn't pop off and then push this side in and that's all that it took it was really not that bad but I was trying to do it at the same time bottom kept popping out so then from my mistakes take your torque wrench 45 foot pounds um, both top and bottom sprockets lock your lock your brakes and put lock tight on these on these nuts. We're gonna torque these guys down to 47 foot pounds. I'll get this right socket for it. 47 foot pounds on both both sides. Oh, we just got our parts back. Nice and shiny black, a little dusty right now, but I got a rivet, rivet tool kit, 3 16 rivets, nice black bumper, nice spindles. This thing's about to look fire, guys. I'm so excited. Ooh. All right, guys, she's all put together, ready to go. That gloss black looks so much better on the front bumper and spindles oh, so nice we've got that nice gloss black rails looking fresh our running boards and then the blue rails suspension the new rear bumper i've done so much to the sled first time sledding this year and i've already replaced the engine I already replaced the track, replaced the rails, replaced the, oh, painted those, replaced this bumper, painted the front bumper, painted the spindle, painted, or replaced the front ball bearings on these upper A arms right here. Suspensions replaced, new relays, and just so much stuff. Craziness. Donuts? Mm -hmm. For me? I can't eat them though. <laughs> you eat them. T tell me if they're good. I'll tell you and if it's good, then you, you have to eat them. You have to eat them. You like it? You happy? I have to eat them though. <laughs>